Hello guys and girls and welcome back to City Skylines with me Biffa here in the city of Malibu but this time it's Malibu with a difference yes we have added the Ragnarok mod to the series so we've been we've been fighting with the real time mod been able to grow our city deal with the traffic and all that sort of thing but now we are going to be using the Ragnarok mod now I do understand that there's two versions there's Ragnarok which brings you massive disasters, much, much bigger than the standard disasters you will get. And there's the Ragnarok Extreme Edition. The Extreme Edition, one meteorite strike, one tsunami wave would just level the entire city and that would just be that. There'd be no series. We'd be episode one and done. Uh, I want to try and continue the series a little bit longer and see what we can do. See if we can, see if we can make it exciting and have disasters that we need to deal with and all that sort of thing and build up our city again so we're using the ragnarok mod sometime in the future i'll probably go back through all of my cities and use the extreme edition <laughs> and have a bit of fun destroying all of them but yeah we're using the ragnarok mod and i'm excited to see what's going to happen last episode we set up uh, all of our um, disaster rescue centers oh do you know the one thing i didn't put down in the last episode which i bet loads of people probably told me about in the comments was we didn't actually put down any disaster response units so yeah we need to do some of those they are definitely definitely going to be going up in the hill somewhere out of the way where are we yeah we're going to have one up here somewhere could we perhaps just sort of level this little bit out here and pop one in here so if we get a massive tsunami yeah this is where it's going to go if we get a massive tsunami it's not going to be the end of the world. Let's just pause this a sec. Let's just delete that, that, that. Keep that one there. Uh, we'll get this tool here. Level this out a touch. There we go. This side here. So we can sort of fit it in. It's quite big. So we need to have space to fit that in. And then if we connect this road up again. Boom, 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 boom. And let everybody get on their way. So we sort of go to there, and then to there, there we go, that suddenly turned itself into a bridge, very handy. So let's use this tool here to make that do that. Yep, there we go, and the path connects up, good, excellent. So we've got a bit of space over here, uh, let's just take a look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's bigger than I thought, because uh, what I was going to do is just bring a road out here. Uh, let's put that back to normal. There we go. Nope. Let's put that on that one then. If we go this way. <laughs> and try and fit it in there. Well, that ain't going to work, is it? Let's level this road back down to this height. Uh, that should be a lot better. Straighten that out. So what do you think the first disaster is going to be? I'd be interested to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, this will be fine. We'll have plenty of room here. And then we can terraform that a bit if we need to. There we go. How far over is that going? That is going right into the mountain. But if we do that... There we go. Excellent. And then we can terraform that mountain a little bit around it as well. Good, good, good. Let's give you some water pipes. So we know that you're happy and you're going to be keeping our city safe. Well, that's one anyway. I mean, we're going to need a couple of these around the place. Um, let's just quickly do a bit of terraforming here. Do, 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 a little bit along here. Just so it's a little bit... What is this weird texture there? Can I do something about that? There we go. Yes, I can if I move it along a bit. So this is costing us 640 every 40 minutes. Okay, so that's not too bad. So we've put all of our other resources in that we need to spot any disasters that are coming. So hopefully, with all of that in place, we should be okay. What have we got coming up today? Stuff at the Expo Center. We do have some needs that we still need to get filled. Again, a lot of people complaining about noise by these monorails, which is... Slightly annoying, but to be expected, I think. Uh, let us just remove... If we just remove these guys here... Oh, you stopped complaining, but too late. Your house is going. It's going to be replaced by an office. We need a lot more industry. I think we could put... Because we've got this monorail that comes along here. I'm just wondering, actually, how many people travel on this line? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. That'll be this one here. Yes. 73 people. Not as many as I thought. Hmm. Oh, well. 
So let us add some more. Let's add some more offices down here. And I'm thinking straight along here would be good, wouldn't it? As we've got the space. And we've got the road. And that'll sort of fill up some of the gaps as well. There we go. And I think if we go around this side too. Get some small offices in there. Excellent. There we go. They're going to start filling in. We really could do with a path connection across here, couldn't we? Look at all this. That needs to move. These blooming incineration plants, I tell you what, I'm like constantly moving them out of the way. You could go over here, couldn't it? Let's just pop a road over here. Yep, there we go. Let's move him over there. Let's make sure he's got a water pipe. Not yet, but he will have in a second. There we go. Let's make sure he's connected to the electrical grid. So if we go there... Yes, because that does make some electricity. How's this doing? Yep, that's building up nicely. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Good, good, good. Let us add this crossing path over here. So people from the university can jump on the monorail if they so wish. That's only down there. They'll be happy to walk to that. Let me go like that. Yeah, there we go. So then people here can walk over, get on the metro. They've got access to the university. They can get that monorail all the way down here to over here. And start getting around other places in the city. Did I spot a... Oh, it's a cable car. Yeah. Cool. Okay. What do you think the first disaster is going to be? <laughs> what do you reckon? I mean, we could end up with a tsunami creeping up on us. We could end up with a meteor strike. I'm worried, you know. I am a little bit worried. Right, we need some more people. Let us find a nice area where we can expand with some more people in. Hmm, we've got this little spot here, actually. Although we decided against expanding there before because of the traffic. But we've got two ways of getting on the highway. So, maybe we could just put a few houses in here. Nothing too big. Yeah, let's just go for something not too huge. Let's take that back. Yeah, sort of a cheaper housing area to live in. I think that'd be a good idea. Can you go there for me? No, can you go there for me? That is it. Perfect. That'll do. We'll go up to there and we'll go up to there. A few houses that side and then we'll have a few houses this side as well. Just uh, every time you get a need, you really want to try and fill it as much as possible. Yep, let's make it the same as that one. So your city keeps growing. Whoops, there we go. That is that is the idea. Uh, yeah, we need some water pipes. So let us grab that one there. May as well connect that all the way across. And this one here. Yep, there we go. And that will connect across here as well. We'll put a few shops in here. Why not? As we're bound to have a need for those. Let's just put some shops there. And then we'll fill the rest of this in with just some low-density housing. There we go. Yeah, and just sort of see how that goes. Might just need a tiny park in the middle. Let's have a look. Small playground. Yeah. That'll cheer everybody up. Let's pop a small playground off the main road. There we go. And then could we give them access? Actually, they can walk. Let's see. Where could they walk? They can walk. They can't walk around this roundabout, can they? Ah, yes. My usual problem of having roundabouts that you can't walk past. So let us fix that. Let's turn off the road guidelines. There we go. Thank you. We'll do that. They can then walk around there if they so wish. We'll just do the same on each side. Why not? Then they can walk wherever they want to go. One, two, three. And we'll do this one here. One, two, three. And one, two, three. There we go. They can now get around. And people are moving in. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Very good, very good. And I'm just wondering whether... Let's have a look. They don't really want to walk into there, do they? They'll be fine. They can walk around there. They can get to this. They can walk down there. They can get to work. Yep. 
They can walk all over the place. Perfect. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Oh, we have tornadoes incoming. Well, let's just see where that's going to be. Let's stop that flashing. Oh, let's... Oh, my goodness. What? The tornado is basically everywhere. Well, how about that then? Um, flipping heck. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Uh, activates all the shelters into act yeah, evacuation mode. Let's get everybody evacuated. Let's have a look down here. So, are they going to be... Yep, there we go. The alarms are going off. Are people coming in? Oh, we've got plenty of food and water. Excellent. Stop driving your tractors. Evacuate. Uh, what have we got happening over here? Festival area later today. Not sure whether that's going to still happen. Okay, are these people evacuating? Hopefully the buses are going out. Because we've set up disaster routes for these guys. There we go. The buses are going out. Let's follow this bus. Yep, he's picking the people up. Oh my goodness. So is this is this just gonna wipe out the entire place anyway? <laughs> oh look at that cool cargo train. I like that. Yeah, that's it. You just wait for the trains to go past. There's only disasters coming. I mean flipping heck. Maybe you wanna get a wriggle on. What are they all sitting there looking at each other for? This is why I don't do these across the roads. People tell me to do them all the time. And they're just stopping looking at each other. <laughs> Go! Pick the people up! What? What are you doing? Have you slightly encroached? So it's like upset that people are patiently waiting. <laughs> well, those buses aren't going to do much good, are they? What the heck? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete that. Yep. Off you go. Oh, needs a must. These poor people need to be rescued. Okay, let's put that back in again. Maybe that was some weird bug there. I don't know. Space ready occupant. There we go. Hmm, very strange. Very strange. Well, the tornado isn't here yet. Oh, here comes the bad weather. And I've, I've still only put one disaster maintenance thing in as well. Uh, we could probably do with adding one down here somewhere. Yep, things are starting to flood. Um... I'm just going to pop it over here because it's got access to the motorway. Whoa! What's that? Oh, there it is. It's here. Yeah. Let's pop that there. If any is oh, wow. It is heading straight for the nerdy side square. Flipping out. Look at the size of that thing. That is as big as the nerdy side square altogether. Whoa. No way. Look at it. Well, at the minute, it's sort of... Oh, the blimp! No, don't do it! Hang on, folks. We're going in. What's that flying past the window, Mum? It's the uh, it's the truck from the farmers. Look, the helicopter's going through as well. That blimp is still going for it. You can't see a thing, can you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. All the people in on the nerdy side... I like we're safe. Oh, they've shut down the rides. That is a good idea. But this farming area has been absolutely decimated. Did the blimp make it out the other side? He did. He's come to drop the people off at their houses. Oh, dear. We're, which are totally destroyed. Oh, my good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it coming back this way? Wow. That is pretty rough. I'm hoping it stops over here and doesn't take out the motorway as well. Oh, man. It's taking out our forestry and our bus centre. No. Look at it. There's one building left. We will continue working. Whatever. Oh, the blimp's going to make his way back now. Let's actually... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Let's follow the blimp. He's, he's actually skirting around the outside now. And if you look out your left window, you will see the biggest tornado ever to hit Malibu. Please don't get too close to the glass. You'll be hit by a flying truck. Good luck. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow, it's heading across the city now, look. Oh! <gasps> into whatever area this is called and our lovely little park that keeps flooding oh my whoa, whoa we're 
going in? Ah! He's looking at the camera. <laughs> ah! What? Really? Where? Please tell me where the tornado is. I think... Oh, wait, this is just not stopping. This is just not stopping. What's our population? 48,000. We were getting up to... We were heading towards 60,000 at one point there. How long is this thing going to last for? Oh, my life. The mop-up after this is just going to be humongous. And it's it's carrying on. Look. So is that now going to head... It's now going up this way. It's just going to wipe out everything. Yeah, we'll do this bit. Then we'll head up there. We'll go around the mountain, down the other side of the road. And we'll finish off with a little bit over here that thought we were going to get away with it. But they're not. Oh, my goodness. The thunder oh yeah look at that cool little drops there that'd make a good uh that's probably the bit people have been pointing out to me that'd make really good dams but anyway back to the disaster in the city Forty-four we we're losing money whoa the destruction oh and i wonder if it took out our oh it didn't look it missed our new disaster response unit thank goodness for that so we can go around and repair some things Oh, my life. Is it finished? No, it's... Yep, yeah, it's gone across there. These people are sick. I'm not surprised. If you're looking outside the window there, that would probably make me feel a bit sick. Right, we need to fix up some of the roads. Wow, this might take... This might take a few minutes uh, to go through and do all of these. Oh, I think we can let everybody out now. Let's have a look. So, citizens lost 7,748. Buildings destroyed 1,102. Now I remember why I started to dislike the disasters. <laughs> Fixing all the flipping roads afterwards. Come on, everybody. Release. Get back to work. Oh, my goodness. Right, we've lost our electrical connection to the rest of the city somehow. I think it sort of comes through here. Okay, that connects through there. Have we just lost some of our... Oh, we're not even making enough electricity. That's what it is. As well as losing the connection over here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that comes from up there. Goes there. We're just not making enough. So, where is our... Oh, that's going to be over here somewhere, isn't it? It's been all destroyed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, we've got to wait for our guys to go out and fix all this stuff up. Yeah, let's actually have a look in this view. Park maintenance. One of these. There's a destruction one, isn't there? Destruction. There we go. And that should make it easier for us. Is that a road? Oh, yeah, there we go. It makes it easier for us to pick out the roads. Can you stay in the destruction one for me? Traffic routes... And then can I do that? Oh, I can. That makes it easier for us to, yeah, see which roads need fixing up and which things are ready to be fixed as well. We build the invisible power cable under the ground. Excellent. I shall carry on. Right, we need to do something about the lack of electricity, even if we end up deleting something later because we're just going to lose so many people. Um, we could put in a nuclear power station. That would give us 640 megawatts, which would cover everything. Uh, and that would just solve our issue. Uh, where shall we put that? Let's pop that somewhere near an in yeah over here, near an industry area. And this is probably where our broken down stuff is. Um, yeah, there we go. Excellent. If we do that, that should. Uh, I'm still fixing the roads. That should solve the problem. Hopefully. Right, I'm pretty sure I fixed up all the roads. Uh, definitely this view here is the best thing. Because you can look through here. Anything that's red. So these are basically houses that need uh, fixing up. The helicopters will come and see those. And these little blue ones turn to red ones. Which means you can click the rebuild button. 
and it's quite easy to see roads uh, because there'll be long straight patches of red as opposed to these blotchy patches these here all the paths every single path look here we go here's one of the rebuild things taxi stands rebuilds always takes two clicks as well which is weird uh, these long things down here this is all the paths almost every single path <laughs> <laughs> in the area needs fixing up i think these are roads yeah so we can just do some of these uh let's stay on the disaster mode so if anybody knows oh are they paths oh no they're not they're paths okay i'll take that back they're all paths if anybody knows of a mod that will automatically fix up the roads for you there you go look this is easy to spot after a disaster, let me know in the comments below. Because this is like the worst. Going through your city, clicking, clicking, clicking. Just to rebuild all the all the roads. It is a bit, a little bit tiresome. A little bit tiresome. But let's have a look. What are we up to? 45,000. So even though we lost a lot of people, we've actually got a lot back again. Oh, here we go. Is this metro or train? Train. Got train tracks to fix up as well. I think I pretty much got all of those. You can you can sort of tell when roads or Oh, here we go. What's that down there? Oh, there's something there. What's that? Oh, an underground cable. You can sort of tell when roads haven't been fixed or maybe railway lines or monorails, things like that because you see the little symbol saying that the the route that you've set up, you know, the bus route or the train route or whatever uh, is not connected. So then you can go and have a look for the piece of road that is broken. We had a weird flood around here. I think it was this one. I fixed the road and it turned them all into bridge pieces. Look. Right bridge, right bridge. All the water from in there was gushing out of everywhere <laughs> and it wiped out a whole other area that <laughs> was just been rebuilt. <laughs> here we go. Look, here's a good example. I know this is paths, but the walking route that goes around here is broken because this isn't fixed as soon as that gets fixed yeah that's the sort of thing you can look out for there was something over here that needed to be rebuilt wasn't there so yeah that was a pretty big disaster there it is what's that ah oh, metro excellent that was a pretty big disaster but i think we've managed to survive it reasonably well mm. and i'm hoping that was the only one i mean we've got We've still got some needs to try and build again. We're losing money at the moment. I mean, we've got we've got demand, but the thing is, there's so many houses that need to be... There we go. I could probably speed this up as well with more of these disaster centres. That would probably help a lot. There we go. Oh, did we just win a football match? Everybody seemed to get happy then. Or was that because I rebuilt that? Probably because I rebuilt that. So, I tell you what, I'm going to continue rebuilding. What the heck has happened to that thing? Stick <laughs> oh, my goodness me. What is going on? That is just weird, isn't it? Look, it's got the tunnel sticking up out of the ground. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll ignore that and wait for everything else to be rebuilt and then <laughs> have a look. So, I'm going to carry on rebuilding this. If you want to see some more, hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe to be back here for the next episode, the day after tomorrow in the new time slot. Oh, my goodness me. Yes, there's so much left to do. Aha, I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.